Hi everybody, it's Mike Kennedy on Tuesday of Wellbeing Week in Law. Today's focus is on spiritual well-being and the word the organizers are using for us today as a prompt, align. Are we aligning our work and our lives with our values? Specifically, they're asking us to look into whether we are cultivating a sense of meaning and purpose in work and life that allows us to align our work and our lives with our values, goals, and interests. So a couple thoughts. Um, first, I'm going to talk about what this, how I'm going to mark the day. Then I'm going to share some thoughts on what I think spiritual well-being is. Um, and then I'll end with a thought on, on what it might not be, a thought that came up last year in a group discussion we did uh, on this day of 2021's Wellbeing Week in Law. Uh, first, I don't think you can assess whether you are incorporating or aligning your work and life with your values unless you know what your values are. So I, the activity I'm doing today is, it's on, page, it's on the third page of uh, the list for Tuesdays, suggested activities is the values challenge activity. And it's simply an exercise that allows someone to go through, identify their five core values and think about strategies to incorporate those values into their everyday, whether it's life, work, wherever. Um, I'm somewhat familiar with that. It's something that from my coaching days, it's something that a lot of teams do. You know, if they teams will identify, this is what we believe in. These are our core values, and these are what we're going to do every day at practice as we build through the season. We're always going to be honest with each other. We're always going to work as hard as we can in any, any given moment, da, 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 da. And if you build those, if you identify what's important to you um, and work on incorporating them into every single thing that you do, that can in, um, enhance a sense of meaning in what you're doing and can enhance your spiritual well-being. Um, I almost chose the awe walk. Take a look at that one. I think that's an interesting one. You can do it in less than 15 minutes. And it just involves going for a walk and looking around and being finding yourself in awe of either nature or it doesn't even have to be nature. I was in Montreal this weekend and I know nothing about architecture, but walking around that city, I'm always in awe of how did they build that skyscraper? Or I went over to um, St. Joseph's Oratory to check that out. I was built a hundred years ago, more than a hundred years ago. And it's, I, I cannot fathom how they did it. Such a feat of architecture just left me in awe. Um, and if you look at the materials that associated with the, uh, that talk about the awe walk, it will explain how awe and finding a sense of, you know, we're, we're part of something larger can lead to improvement in spiritual well-being. So I thought that was another interesting option. Um, but now I'm all off focus here. Um, First, if you are in a position in life where you have a job that provides lots of meaning and is perfectly aligned with your values, consider yourself fortunate. Not everybody is in that position. Those of you who are not there yet, who feel like, you know what, I'm not really sure that I do take meaning from my work. We have, I have a couple of thoughts for you. That's okay if you don't take meaning from your work. First of all, many people, Work might be a means to an end, meaning, no pun intended, that I might have a job that I'm not out to derive a lot of spiritual well-being from or meaningfulness from. My job might allow me to do other things that are important to me, other things that improve how I feel, make me feel connected to the world, make me feel like my life has meaning. So if you don't take meaning from your work, that's perfectly okay. Those of you who are looking for meaning from your work, but don't aren't there yet, the one trying to work on your spiritual well-being, just be, remember this, just because you may not find meaning in whatever you're doing day to day, it isn't what you thought you'd be doing when you went to law school, it isn't why you went to law school, it has meaning to somebody, your client, person in your office who asked you to do it future you, future you will thank you for the hard work you put in now that will enable you to get to a place in life where you can choose a job that aligns more closely with your values than the current job you have. Um, and then finally, right now, if that is you, there are ways, you may not be taking meaning from your work, but there are ways that you can conduct yourself every single day that live out, that exemplify the core values that you find most important to yourself, your core values. 
Um, and I would encourage you to try to figure out just one way every single day that you can do something that shows that you are living the values that are important to you. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about um, spiritual well-being. Those are my thoughts for the day. I'm not doing the discussion groups this week because I feel like um, people shouldn't have to sit and listen to me talk about what I've read other people's provide. Look at the materials. There are tons of different activities suggested. Go out there and find what helps you, what works for you, because well-being is intensely personal. The bar, my office, the court, we can't dictate well-being. Go out and find, that wouldn't align with anybody's values. Um, meaning my values are my values. They might not be yours. Trying to sort of circle it back into what we're talking about today. But I encourage you to participate. Find something from the list. Just one thing to do this week. And hey, have a great day. Thanks for uh, listening.